Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 25th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. The video this time is just a run through of my original Medibank tutorial of the same topic but with a voiceover for English language. Why? Because recording it all over again takes a lot of time and simply put, I'm lazy. In the previous video tutorial, we learned about the 8 BPP layer and the 1 BPP layer. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial, I will explain about um, one of the additional layers, which is the half tone layer. Let's start. Take a look at the bottom of the layer window, the fourth icon from the left. This is the additional layer icon. When we click on it, there will be three options of layer for you to choose. For this tutorial video, we will be focusing on the topmost item first, which is the add layer half tone. When we click on the add layer half tone, a window will open. This is the half tone window. There are four settings for the half tone window. The first one is to set the net dots the vertical lines and the horizontal lines next is the lines now the third one is the set tone depth as well as the percentage for the tone depth this is the default setting of the half tone window okay so now let's click on the ok first and we look what will happen now, when you click the OK just now, a new layer will be added. You will notice here that there is a small box with a number 8 at the side. This means that this, is, uh, this layer is an 8 BPP layer. Beside the number 8 is, a written, uh, is something written inside the bracket, net 60L 10%. That was the halftone setting that we set earlier just now in the halftone window. Now let's see what will happen when we draw on the canvas. It looks like the same texture, right? Now let's zoom in here. Oops, and okay. Now you will find that what is drawn on the canvas uh, are actually very many dots. The number of dots and its distance between them are the result of the settings in the halftone window just now. To change it, you simply open its layer property window, which is the cog symbol icon beside this layer. Its layer property window will open and look, there are a few settings here. Okay, um, its appearance is quite different from the layer property window that was previously shown. Okay, so because this is because the selected layer is a half tone layer and this is not the color layer. Okay. Um, now let's take a look at the settings here. Here is the box to change the name of the layer and this one is the draft layer box which you already know from Medibank tutorial, tutorial 23 so I don't need to go through it again. Now let's check uh, out this color settings. The color setting is to change the color of the half tone. And as you can see, as I pick the red, the dots become red in color. So you can change the color however you like it and uh, apply it. Now, this apply foreground color means you would like to use the color that is displayed in this box. Right now, my foreground color is black. So when I click on the apply foreground color, the dots now become black in color. It follows the foreground color there. At the side here is the palette icon. If you click on it, a window will pop up showing all the colors which you have saved and set in your palette. I will explain about the palette in future video, so we'll cancel that first. Now we move on to the half tone setting over there. In this box is the net dots. It refers to the dots that you are seeing on the canvas right now. When you click it, 
a drop down menu will show three more options other than net dots okay we have the don't half tone meaning you don't want the layer to be half toned anything that is drawn on the canvas will return to normal now i use the black just now so that's why it looks black okay uh, so this is the normal brush now the vertical lines will make anything drawn on the canvas look like straight lines standing which is like as you can see on the canvas right now for the horizontal lines the lines will become horizontal like so you may select either these four options as you like and whichever suits what you want to draw okay now let's take a look at the lines the lines refer to the setting of how many dots you want the minimum is 10 and the maximum is 90 let's start from 10 lines and look at the canvas this is how many the dots uh, are now we'll um, gradually increase its amount and then you will notice that the more the lines amount the more the dots become the dots appear to shrink but actually it is simply because of the compressed space that's why the dots are shrunk but um, I, okay but the bottom line is that the number of dots is more now uh, we'll return the lines to 60 all right moving on to the set tone depth the tone depth is set in percentages okay in this box below the minimum for tone depth is 5% while the maximum is 90% the percentage of the tone depth determines the thickness of the dots or for the vertical and horizontal lines it determines the thickness of the lines let's start from 5% and this is the minimum thickness of the dots as we increase it the dots become thicker like so Forty. okay however when we reach um, 50% like this the dots now become like a box like you see on screen right now it is checkered okay now when we pick more than 50 percent say 60 percent the dots become white while its background becomes black like you see on screen from here on the more we increase its percentage the dots start to shrink because of its black background like you see on screen okay now this is um how it is lah now then you may set the percentage of tone depth as you like and whichever suits uh, what you want to draw for this i will set the tone depth at 30 percent and when you are satisfied with the setting everything then you may click ok now um, other than clicking on the add layer icon down here you can add a half tone layer from the layer item at the menu bar click on the layer item and the drop down menu will show in here you can select the item add half tone and the same process will repeat this time i pick vertical lines with tone depth at um, 20 percent uh, Okay, and then click OK. Now I draw on the canvas of this layer, and this is what is shown on screen. Okay. 
this is the um, vertical vertical uh, tone okay a vertical line sorry okay then I'll do another one half tone layer this time is for the horizontal I'll set the uh, tone depth at around 20% um, and click OK and then I'll draw down here again and this is how the vertical eh, I'm sorry the horizontal lines for half tone okay they are all um, three different ones so that is the half tone layer so what are the uses of the half tone layer okay half tone layers are often used by artists who draw comic in black and white or in monochrome let's take a look at this drawing here i've already drawn a character from a popular japanese manga series looking at this drawing that is plainly just black lines it is boring and it doesn't express any obvious emotions right therefore i will use the half tone to make this character come alive using japanese manga style the first use of the half tone to draw shadows uh, or do shades i'll start with half tone um net dots Okay, um, with line 60 and I'll set the tone depth to 10% and click OK. Alright. Now, then I will draw shadows here in the uh, hair area like so. Okay, I'm done. Now, um, the spaces inside the uh, inside of the hair parts also need shadows. So before I get into that, I'll do one more for the neck, like this. Okay, and this is the um, shadow. It's quite simple at first now i'm going to put in those two shadows inside of this house but for this one i'll set uh, it in another layer i'll put it vertical lines and then um how do i say 20 percent for set tone depth now i can um, fill in the parts inside of the hair like this okay now then there you have it the first use of the half tone to create shadow so not only shadow we have the shade the second use of the half tone is to color for example the color of the half the shirt here so the character's shirt is black i'll do it in using half tone and using this setting for half tone then i will start to um, fill in the colors for the character okay so the accessories also is in black parts of it Okay, there you have it. Um, simple coloring of black and white. Uh, and you can start to see that the image is more, how do I say, less boring and quite better than the plain blacks. 
Now the third use is to express the atmosphere of the scene. For this example, I will create a new halftone layer again with net dots, um, line 10, and at 5%. Then I'll um, fill in uh, the background for this. Okay, so what do you think here? The atmosphere becomes more cheery, right? Now, then, because of the background using the net dots, you see that the the situation or the atmosphere becomes more uh, happy or cheery, and the background isn't all that boring, right? Now, this is the third use, which is to express or show the atmosphere using half tone. Okay making the art overall much better. Now the fourth use of the half tone is to give the character expressions. All right, right now you'll see that the expression of this character is as if the naughty child of a naughty child which is teasing or mocking someone. We can change the perception of this expression using the half tone. For example, I'll make a new half tone layer again with settings net dots line um, 60 and using 10% of tone depth. Now I will draw um, a round shape, I think. Uh, yeah, a round shape like this. This, for example. Okay, now then the character looks to be blushing as if her cheeks are red. As if she's shy and happy at the same time for um, having been praised. Now this puts the expression on her face more clearly. Now looking at the picture as a whole, it looks to be more alive, right? Now compare this to the drawing just now with black lines only. The character's outfit got color, the shadows to show lighting effect, the background that is more lively. And the child's expression that is weird but cute at the same time. And not only this, you can use the half tone in more creative ways like this one. Okay, to use more, how do I say, to put in more expression to the picture. Okay, you look at this one. Now, this one, the expression of the character shows that she has a prank in mind or is planning something naughty. Now even the background shows a mysterious atmosphere with somewhat like a dark aura. Or it can also be that the character is holding in her feeling of sickness or uncomfortable feeling but by like forcing a smile. Okay? Now anyway, it is up to the beholders to interpret the character and its surrounding based on the picture given. Alright, now let's take a look at this one. Uh, this character looks to be tired and not having enough rest. For instance, the eyes have eye bags and the lips are dry and the hair looks dry as well. So overall, we'd see that the character is not in high spirits and low in energy. All of these details are shown by only using the half tone layer. Okay, with creative use of the halftone layer. Uh, all of these over here are all halftone layers. Uh, so now can you see how great the halftone layer is? Then that's it for the users of the halftone layer. With your own creativity, you sure can use the halftone layer in more ways than what I listed in this video. For those of you who draws manga or comic in black and white or in monochrome, I highly encourage you guys to use the half tone layer.
okay that's it for today thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of medibank paint pro please like this video and subscribe to moonlight nana channel or follow me on facebook together we help each other in our art journey have a blessed day ahead everyone